1716 karma. <laughs> What the fuck? Shit, we're facing scouts in the first match. It's the ultimate weakness of my deck. Zoe is always good. Karma is a no-go here. Concussive Bomb can be used defensively. We have to get some good invokes from Zoe or else we're fucked. We also need to get Eyes of the Dragon. Or the... I don't know the name of the card. The card that generates a moon weapon. The spell card of Aphelios. Champion spell of Aphelios. Okay, please no stony suppressor. Please no stony suppressor. But most likely he will use stony suppressor. Bonka S, stony suppressor. Bonka Giga. Okay, that's better. That's better. Holy shit. Oh, I should have used Nopify. I'm. I forgot I had Nopify. Fuck! Please don't attack. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get a silence. I need to get Equinox. Equin- Oh, my mistakes have been redeemed. My mistakes have been redeemed, guys. I should have used Nopify on that one. I was trolling hard. One of the hardest trolls of my life. It's fine, we take this hit. Summon the Eye of the Dragon. We get a... Uh, we get a dragon link next turn, heal some HP back up. Breathe in, breathe out. Gifts from beyond is awesome here. No sharp sight, Perino, please. He's thinking about sharp sight. Do I stun? I think I stun. Yep. I need Zoe. I need Zoe. I have another stun anyway. I think I'm cool with this one. Gives us a defender for next turn. If needed, we have another stun next turn. Oh, that's an elusive. Sorry, Zoe can't attack anymore. He got a high roll off of that. Nothing gets between me and my mark. We'll find our enemies. I need to do something about this Valor. I can grab it on. But I'm not sure if that's worth it. It's a lot of tempo. I should have notified the first Valor. That was a stupid move. I, I could have had one more Zoe spell in hand right now. Why did I not notify? Is my Zoe the win condition here? Not too sure. If Quinn levels up, we're fucked. But I don't see how we'll be able to stop the Quinn level up here. I'm not even sure if it's worth keeping Zoe alive. She doesn't do anything because of this shadow. Freaking shadow apprentice. I need to summon. I need to summon something next turn. And I have to try for this. I have to try. He will block and then I'll pay the cascade. If he has sharp sight. Whatever. I can hush the Quinn immediately next turn. Something to consider. Nice, our Zoe stays alive. It's something it's up. Is, he... is this a rally? If he uses a rally, I can Opify. I can Opify. No worries. I will hush the Quinn next turn, by the way. This looks like a freaking rally, man. Okay, it's not a, it's not a rally. It's not a rally. I do have many defenders, and I will hush the Quinn immediately here. I need either need to use homecoming or I need to hush the Quinn. Stop the level up. Can't summon another Valor anyway if he attempts to resummon the Quinn here. Time to get around here. Yeah, this is the nice good. 
This will kill a lot of his units, alleviate some of the pressure that he's putting on me. And I have double hush to prevent the Quinn and the MF level up next turn. Okay. Well, shit then. We need to get a good spell off of Karma. Getting a good spell off of Karma is the crucial thing here. He only has two cards left. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh god. We just need to survive the next few turns. We might be good to go, guys. Seriously? You have a third sharp sight? You f this dude has a third sharp sight. What the actual fuck? Why does he have a third sharp sight? Why do you have a third sharp sight? I can't summon the karma. It will die to valor. I need the karma to live. I might have to hush, guys. We'll attack with this drag. That's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's too much damage. The karma needs to be summoned here. And I also need to use hush. I also need to use hush. Or I can just use this one. Living Legends. Might be able to get something good. I need to use Hush for the Dragonlings. I need to get something good out of Living Legends. Fuck! Rally! Rally! Please don't rally! No rally, good. That's fine, that's fine. We will have the living legends of our lives, guys. Of our lives. All or nothing, baby. Let's see what we get. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck. He will drag there. He, he will drag this one. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I, I think I survive. I do need to get rid of the misfortune. For sure. I have to get rid of the misfortune. I think we survive. We might have survived, guys. I think we survive. If he uses rally, I use my nopify. I have nopify. I have nopify. We have a chance. Okay, he's got nothing. We have the karma now. And the double draw. We have fangs. Let's see, let's see. We have a chance here. We have a chance. We, we, we will hush the Quinn next round for sure. Oh, double star shaping. We have double star shaping next turn. We have no Pify. I think we pretty much confirm he has no rally, right? He would have used it already. Yeah, he has no rally. I will hush the Quinn here to prevent the Quinn level up. Just like hunting I'm afraid of my karma dying. I need my karma alive. I've got your back. So he will attack for... I will heal for 10, so that's 18, 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. Yeah, he can't kill me. Uh, what do I need? Immortal Fire? Immortal Fire seems good. And Supernova seems good. 5 HP? I should be safe. What if he has her post? I'm not gonna play around your post. Yeah, let's not play around your post. He already used three sharp sights. If he has her post, then I think it's fine. Our karma already did her job. Okay. It's fine. Karma already did her job. Karma's not generating any more value here. Intense, guys. 
If I use this, I die next round, so I can't do that. I need to go for the Zoe and the Immortal Fire. Or I might even have to go for the Achoon. You're out of sharp sight. You should be out of sharp sight. I think I need to do this, guys. And then just let my Zoe die next round. It's all about surviving. It's all about surviving. Holy fuck. Yes, another one? We did our best. We did our best. God. Oh. Yasuo Ophelius. Cool. You always keep Zoe here for sure. We're looking for stuff like Veil Temple. I have the dragon is not that needed here, I think. We were peaceful once. Straight up attack. I'm expecting the Aphelios on turn 3. We'll use the super cool star chart to counter. No more hiding. I want to get double super cool star charts here. Silence if we get it. Oh shit. Serpent is intriguing. But he will use Aphelios here. I need to silence the Boxtopus if I can afford it. Need to silence the Boxtopus. Oh! Gifts from beyond. Interesting. Yeah, we will silence that one. I fight with my spirit, oh! My fist. I have the dragon! It's not the Boxtopus. Oh, it's Ionia! I fucked up! I was preparing for the Boxtopus. It's not even the Boxtopus. Okay. It's not that scary. It's Ionia. I was praying for the Boxtopus. That's why I got Equinox. Oh, when I see Aphelios, I automatically think Ionia. Should be okay to summon the Eye of the Dragon here. Not sure if it's worth it to use Equinox though. I can just super cool star chart. Double Equinox? Moon Glow is, I think, better. Depending on what he does next round, I can either Veil Temple or Moon Glow. Veiled Temple seems good. Veiled Temple seems good. The thing is, we will not be buffing up our Zoe. We just need to make sure it's protected from everything. Our Eye of the Dragon will be fat off. Do we need Karma now? I think Golden Sisters will inflict more... Not inflict. will exert more damage. Yes, deny, so I don't think Fallen Comet is a good idea here. He also has Nopify's actually, but I have Nopify to counter his Nopify. Golden Sister will allow us to start chipping damage. Yeah, I think I'm going Golden Sister here. This is going to be a long game, guys, by the way. I'm gonna use the Moon Glow on the Zoe so that we will be not hushed if he ha has it. Could nopify this one, but I have nopify. If he nopifies this one, it means he has hush. It's just about it. Oh, that's fine. Is this fine? Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. Not bad. It's not bad for me. Not bad at all. Not too shabby. We just get to play the Zoe again. Get some more value. Zoe is getting tons of value. Tons. What is when he Although he does have double dragon link. It's our time. I don't mind if... Back, heretic. I actually don't mind if Zoe starts getting buffed here. I don't mind if the eye dies. I have another one. Oh, that's fine. 
Is it fine? Is it fine? I think it's fine because I get to buff up my Zoe instead. I want to start buffing my Zoe up. Trickster for the elusives. That yeah, seems good. <sighs> buff up the Zoe. Summon you. <clears throat> I want to buff up the Zoe somewhere before I summon the trickster. Okay, that's scary. So I probably don't want to attack with my Zoe anymore because it could die to a single stun. If he has um concussive bomb. Yeah, Zoe will stay in the back lines for now. Breathe in, breathe out. Totally in the back lines. Oh, that's we can kill Yasuo. Could kill Yasuo. Race you to the next nebula. Moon glow. Love my moon glow, guys. Do I even attack? I'm giving value to his Yasuo if I attack. He will stun, but if he uses concussive bomb here, I think it's totally fine. Just need to chip him down. We need to protect Zoe. We level up Zoe. We have a high chance of winning. If he hush us here, it's fine. He's wasting resources. I have double star shaping. I don't care about the Lunari Duskbringer. So he uses concussive bomb anyway. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm happy to Zoe and Moonglow here then. Unless he has another concussive bomb, then my Zoe dies. But he's committing lots of resources for a one mana card. Okay. Race the Knight of Elias. Look how sparkly! I'm starting to regret this Golden Sister now. Now that I think about it. Another concussive bomb? Using all your stuns right now? Oh, it's Graviton. We'll be able to buy some time. What is gained when we return malevolence? Pale cascade seems good. We Gucci, we Gucci guys. Not expecting the Zoe level up though. It's been able to stop it twice already. Okay, he's using the stuns. He's using all his stuns actually. Okay. Alright, alright. Yes, whoa, almost leveled up. Okay. Mm hmm. This one is pretty good, but it could get denied. I think Great Beyond is just a lot better to exert more elusive pressure. Just a lot better. I don't mind the damage that I'm going to take here, I think. Don't mind it at all. I'm gonna defend against. Yeah, so I get the Yasuo yeah, so here. Pa da 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 pa da da pa da da pa pa pa. Cool, cool. Just triggering the eye of the dragon proc. Okay. It's a lot of damage. Ito fine. Oh, that's not fine. <laughs> that's not fine. Okay, that's not fine. But we have stun. We have stun. Breathe in, breathe out. That is not a fine. Uh. He only has one card left. We're threatening lethal. Yeah, one card left. If that's a hush, then whatever. Good game. Good game. Cool. He's playing a cool deck. Playing a cool deck, guys. Okay. Zoe Aphelios versus Zoe Karma. This will be a long game, guys. Expect a long game. 
Pale Temple is a keep in this matchup. Zoe is nice to have. I can notify the Crescendum if he has an early Aphelios. It's a Zoe with a Zoe. I think we don't attack. At least in the first turn. Okay, he doesn't have a Zoe. Cool, cool. For sure he attacks here. Always go for the Zoe attack. We have Nopify for the possible Aphelios next turn. We can Nopify or we can super cool star chart. If he doesn't have Aphelios, we're using gifts from beyond. Some of the Eye of the Dragon. Probably has Aphelios. Probably need to Nopify. Pura Baburi. Oh no, Aphelios. God damn. Might be a serpent. If it's a serpent, need to do something about that. Use this, use this, use that. Are you a serpent? I'm not afraid. This is a wee bit Fuck. Fuck! I either have to go for the super cool star chart or I have to go for the gravitum. Gravitum is not worth it. So our Zoe dies. Our Zoe dies. Gotta accept that fact. We already got value out of the Zoe anyway. Spell shield. Gets more challengers. Ooh, yeah, we scruff. Okay. I'll just chill next round, probably. This box topos will be annoying. Setting setting down the veil temples will be good. We have the late game anyway with karma plus double star shaping. This box supposed will be a problem. It's like a mini Fiora. Keeps killing stuff. With spell shield. I need to create a big boy of my own. With the gifts from beyond. Receiving karma for the last turn. You just want the double star shaping for the win conditions. That's all we want. We have double veil tempo. So we have the tempo advantage if he challenges here. I can use gifts from beyond, raise the attack up to 3. Probably doesn't attack here. Bye, constellation. Presentum is always what we go for. But we will not use it this round. If this becomes a war of passing, I'm totally fine. Okay. Probably want to heal back up by a bit. And I want to make the doggo bigger. The spirit gives to those who listen. This will die to the box to post the turn after, but that will always happen. The fact that we have the oh. The fact that we have the doggo. If we if we suicide the doggo here, we'll be able to buff the eye of the dragon, which might become a good thing. He doesn't have good defenders against the Dogo anyway, against he goes for unless he goes for the Pale Cascade. Le Dogo. Is it time to go for the Karma? Kind of want to reserve my stuns for later. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the rules. This. If we summon Karma, we'll be forced to double stun the box to us in order for it to survive. But we're also making it super big that way. Let's risk it, let's risk it. Um, getting the value out of the karma with the free spells could be huge, guys. Could be huge, that's fine. Challenge my karma. <gasps> Monka S, that's so good! That's so good. It's actually good. Astral protection, Pog. There's nothing he can do against double concussive palm, I think. Should be nothing he can do against double concussive palm. Seems good. And we can boost the HP of the karma. We even have homecoming now that the bastion or the spell shield is gone. Spell shield from the moon glow actually. Why didn't he attack with the Zoe? That's weird. He's playing around hush. You never play around hush. Wham bam. That is reality. Look how sparkly. Now it's just a waiting game. 
Ah! What? What? Will we get any good buffs? Hold on. Oh, only Pale Cascade will be permanent. Only Pale Cascade. Yeah, it's only Pale Cascade. But at least we get the draw. Guiding touch. Seems good. Uh, I need to draw the knight here. Probably kill my karma. I mean, if he kills my karma, I can use homecoming. Oh, we have the knight. Okay, never mind. We're good. Should I have waited for turn 10 to do that? What will you do, boy? Yeah, I'm go I'm using homecoming on this on this freaking box to us man. Totally chill here. Totally chill. I have homecoming for my karma. My karma is a safe. Ah, oh, recall. We get more protection. Breathe in, breathe out. Another karma. Okay. So I really want to start spending my hand actually. Hmm. Is that worth denying? I think it is. I mean, he can challenge with Boxtopus, but I have Homecoming. I can Homecoming the Tale of the Dragon. Just chill out. Chill the F out. I wanna do it after the buff though, because I want. Okay. Okay. Ring a fucking bell. I have two options here. Cool. Get another stun in hand. We're starting to have a problem, guys. We're starting to have a problem. We have too much cards in hand. Suffering from success. Suffering from success. We need to get rid of some of these cards in hand. Knox. Looks good. I want to level up the Zoe now. I'm protecting the Zoe with my life. With my life, who? Okay. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm gonna buff the Zoe. The Zoe will be the biggest Zoe you've ever seen in your entire life. Peace begins within. Peace begins within. I start with star shaping, right? Oh no! I didn't have enough hand space. I shouldn't have started with star shaping. Fuck! I'm gonna burn away the other one. God damn. Seventeen sixteen karma. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, if you're facing lots of Targon guys, use Zoe Karma. Zoe Karma wins the Targon mirror.